time ago. Jennifer Lukey is live there tonight with what they're saying about this case. What have you learned, Jen? Well, Liz, we know that investigators were called here to the Tropic Hut Bar, and there's a trailer park right behind it with about 25 to 30 trailers. About 1 o'clock today, they got a phone call from a friend of a mother and a son who hadn't heard from them in a couple of days, came over to check on them, and found them dead inside their mobile home just beyond that bar. It's hard to see it from here, but you can see the investigators outside. Now, since that time, they went in, confirmed that the mother and son are both dead inside. They found a long gun in there, they tell us. But other than that, there are very few details so far because they have pulled investigators out while they wait for search warrants. But they are going door to door in this trailer park, trying to talk to neighbors, trying to see if anyone knew anything about this family, what might have happened. At this point, they do believe this was a domestic dispute. Again, they're trying to, to notify the next of kin so we do not have a name on the mother and the son. And we also do not know which one of them shot the other. Those are, de those are details that are still developing at this time. But again, so far, investigators tell us that people that they've talked to in this trailer park say they never heard any gunshots, but both of the victims were dead inside. Everything is still in place as to uh, where the investigators found it when they arrived and the patrol officers when they arrived. Um, nothing is going to be moved. Um, no evidentiary work is going to be done until those search warrants are in hand. Now, we believe that there is a connection between this mother and son and this bar. It was not open today, and we believe it's been open spotty on and off through most of the summer. We're not sure at this point if it's the owner of the bar. Police are not confirming that because they want to, again, try to no notify the next of kin. But there is a connection to the bar, and they're also looking to search two other trailers in this mobile home park. But they tell me that they do believe this was a domestic dispute and the shooter is inside that trailer dead. Liz. John, I'm just wondering, I think people that know Saratoga Springs know that as sort of a popular hangout for like regulars. Has there, have you been able to find anybody that can shed any light on, on what the bar itself, that Tropic Hut is like or what goes on there? Well, Liz, we know it was open on Sunday. Um, the police told us that there were people inside watching football, but then this mother and son hadn't been seen in the last few days. We have not been able to go down into the trailer park. Like I said, there's about 25 or 30 mobile homes down there, but both entrances have been blocked off by police. They are still questioning the people who live down there, so they're not allowing us to go down there to talk to them at all at this point. So we really haven't been able to get a vibe of, of sort of, you know, mm -hmm. when the last time and what the connection is specifically with this mother and son or who, which one of them is responsible for the other one's death in their own. And have police promised any more information today or tonight? Yeah, Liz, they're waiting for search warrants, and they, they expected that would happen in the next couple of hours, so they're remaining here on the scene. The bodies have not been removed from those mobile homes yet, so they have a lot of work to do here, both inside that mobile home and around the park. So, of course, we will stay here, stay on top of this developing news, and bring you any updates as we get them. Jen Lukey reporting live for us from Saratoga. Thank you very much. Well, an online push for more.